Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I got a really good deal on something from an estate sale or so forth. And I haven't been going to estate sales because with COVID, they've been shutting them down again. And so what I've been doing is going more on the Facebook marketplaces as well as OfferUp. And I found this really awesome screaming deal on OfferUp and I paid $30 for everything you see here. So let's get into it. So if you watch this channel a lot, you know I love SK and you know I love plastic cases and this is a win-win for me and I just never seen this type of wrench uh, from SK before. So when I saw this popped up and the guy only wanted 30 bucks, I was a little bit suspicious about it, but you know, the pictures were terrible and they just, you know, this is the way it looks. I haven't touched it or cleaned it up, but whatever he did with the flash, the chrome, it just, they did, you know, you couldn't tell the condition of them, what they were looking like. So I said, would you take 25? It didn't hurt to ask. And he said, sure. And then I was able to work in these other items, which I'll show you in a minute that I paid another $5 for. Uh, but these are a little bit unique and I never seen this wrench before. And this set is very different than anything I've ever seen before. These are long ratcheting wrenches. So the case measures 18 inches across so that's great it'll fit into my sk locker oh man look at that just snap this old vintage craftsman um tape usa made well that was a bummer but plenty more where that came from so let's give this one a whirl this is a nice old lufkin made in the usa tape uh so like i was mentioning these i'd never seen anything like this before 18 inches across that'll definitely fit into my sk locker and if you haven't seen the video um i'll put it at the end of this uh but yeah look at the length of these so these are double box end ratcheting wrenches so look at the length of this. This is a 14 and a 15 measures over 15, uh, over 12 inches. You know, the smallest wrenches in here are about nine inches and the largest ones are about 16. And um, as you can see, this set goes from eight millimeter up to 19 and it's really locked in there. Damn, there it is. Um, yeah, so they go up to 19. These are really nice, not basically a zero offset and they're in great shape. But I think they're 90 tooth. Uh, but when I looked at it, I said, hey, SK, this is kind of some older stuff. It does not say made in the USA. So then I started taking a closer look and I saw this on it. And I know from just watching a ton of tool videos like you guys that there's um, a factory, I believe it's Infar in Taiwan that makes the majority of all the rebranded ratcheting wrenches. And my guess is that's probably who made this. Um, so I did a little bit of homework online. I couldn't find a lot about it. It's actually a pretty rare set. You don't see a lot of these. From what I could tell, and if you guys know, let me know, but this was sold in about the 2008 range and it sold for about $211 with a list price. Very well made, just not made in the USA. It's before Ideal uh, purchased SK, because when Ideal purchased SK, they came out with this, which is their, um, you know, their new style ratcheting wrench. And this is called the X-Frame, and I have both sets of these in SAE and Metric, and I absolutely love them. A lot of people don't like them because they don't have a reverse selector um, or that they don't have... Um, you know, that they're six point versus 12 point, which I actually like. And here's the box they came in. They are absolutely beauties. They have 216 positions and delivers a 1.7 arc swing. So that is the X frame. And these are not the X frame. And my point in this is that this was definitely from before that era. And um, hey, you know, as an SK collector, as somebody that doesn't have ratcheting wrenches that are super long like this, I think I got a great deal at 30 bucks. So I'm gonna clean them up and I'll show you that um, at the end of the video. But first, let me show you these other items. And I think I mentioned it, $30 for everything. So 25 and then I paid another five for these ex um, extensions. This is just a junky uh, ratchet. I was in the deal, I just took it. Who knows, I can maybe use that for something. But let me show you this. This is a snap-on 10 inch, half inch drive extension. And then I got a couple of Mac extensions and these are nice long 12, 12 inch extension here. Look at that beautiful Mac made in the USA, um, dollar. And then I got a couple of, oh, here's another Mac. And this looks to be about an eight inch 
Mac extension. And then this one says USA Dora Chrome. Not sure exactly who made that, uh, but that's about a six inch extension. So a dollar a pop essentially there. All right, let's go clean up those wrenches. All right, and about 20 minutes of some elbow grease with some goop as well as some like Dawn detergent, really cut through the grease and cleaned up that case fantastic. And then what I did was hit the case with some Armor All, let that just soak in for a while and it should be good to go for many years and what a difference. And then the last thing around the case I wanted to show you is that these can be put in here like this where they just kind of sit nice so they're at the ready and you could actually take the lid off and it would fit in your toolbox and you can easily go in and out or you could take them and actually clip them under and then if you travel a lot they won't bang around. My guess is is that this person had them just sat in, in there like this but then would still travel with it and carry it around. And that's why you see a lot of these little micro type of scratches on here in that super chrome, um, which, I, you know, I could maybe get out some of that if I use like my uh, buffing wheel and my compound. Uh, but for today, all I did was just to give them a quick hand polish, took off the heavy dirt, cleaned them up. Um, to get them ready to go and back in service. As far as the wrenches themselves, it seems like the smaller ones are a finer tooth than the larger sizes. This is the 19, and you can hear that. I, I didn't physically count them up or anything like that. The other thing I noticed, it seemed like the 14 and the 15 was the one that definitely had seen the most use. And that one's nice and fine. So not sure, maybe um, they are all the same tooth count. The other thing I noticed, if you take a look here, it's got this cap on it, but it seems like that cap is actually has like a protective seal over it. And I could not get a screwdriver into that groove as there's a cover over it. So maybe that needs to be scraped off and then these are serviceable, uh, which would be pretty cool. I think there's a spring in there. Um, you guys would definitely know better than me. And then what I did to service these is I just basically took my three-in-one oil, laid a nice little bead around it, and let that soak in for a while, and then worked it, and uh, did that to all of them. And it seemed to really penetrate as I saw, like you could actually see the oil kind of ease into there, and it worked great. And here are those extensions. Once again, just ran one quick pass on them with the flits and they came out great i was curious about this you guys might know this is the uh, snap-on extension sx10 and i was curious why it has a hole on this side and the detent works fine just thought that was a little odd never seen that on an extension these mac ones cleaned up beautifully as well so thirty dollars for everything you see here thought that was a great deal all right and then the last thing i want to say in today's video is about sk and them going to china um you know i gave it some thought and i think i am gonna probably no longer buy new products from sk i think i'll still buy stuff from you know when i find closeout deals on the old sk stuff if there's liquidating some stuff like i did from harry j epstein not too long ago um you know i, I had i had a couple months left on my socket of the month club they basically didn't even send me my sockets uh, i'm just done with them they revamped their websites they did away with a lot of the programs they're not doing free shipping anymore even if you're paying for a membership and it's going to be owned by a chinese company so i am done with buying new sk i still will buy maybe if i find like i said new old stock and definitely vintage sk stuff as always let me know in the comments section if you know about this style wrench whether it was made for sk or if you had them maybe rebranded for somebody else. Really appreciate everybody watching. Would love for everybody to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.